Have you ever seen the high-level jiu-jitsu players about to get swept, but somehow they recovered and got back on top? Well, it's because they don't accept the sweep, and I'm going to show you how to do that, so stay tuned. All right, so if you get swept, don't accept it. Butterfly guard. So let's say Andrew's gonna sweep me towards you. I know I'm gonna be swept that way at this point, okay? I can feel it. What I'm gonna do is, with this hand, I'm gonna grab the outside of this knee that you can't see yet, but we'll fix that for you. So I go over, I land. As soon as I land, at this point, I have just enough time to frame and get my hook under. If I lift this up and Andrew starts to come on top of me, I'm gonna delay it. But I can't really delay the inevitable. If I only do this, eventually he's gonna come on top, get on top, and do something is only a wipeout would by framing my eyeball or something. So, to prevent that, check out this drill. What we're gonna do is lay next to each other side by side. This is a great way to learn the drill and then I'm gonna show you exactly how to implement it into the butterfly sweep or whatever uh, sweep they use. So I'm gonna grab the collar, we're gonna lay next to each other, pretend like his hook, his butterfly hook that just swept me is still in, right? So here it is, I had a grip on the outside of his knee here. From here, I fell over. Just to drill this, this knee, as I frame, I'm going to point it in, and you can see how this hook becomes disconnected. This comes under. Now, if I lift here, this is going to buy me time, because what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to replace my foot from under here. I'm going to go push. Now, you see, because of the extremely tight hips on Andrew, both knees just fall that direction. Some people won't fall, or the hips won't turn as much, but luckily I have Andrew. So as I go push, his hips turn. At this point, I'm going to grab this knee. So here, push, grab, this hook, this hook, and then I can come up. So the drill again, I'll sit, I'll sit next to my partner. He had his hook in from the butterfly sweep. I have the grip here. I go in, hook, lift, push. At this point, I may be able to just go push and come up, all right? But if he's fighting back into me, Yes, he's going to come into me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to recruit my hooks here. I go lift. Or if you're in a position, maybe you can lift here. Just depends on how this goes while you're going live. And then I drive this across. So just a little bit different direction. We'll go here. His left butterfly hook was in. I already had this grip. So I go, I was just swept. I fell down. I have my grip already. In, hook, push. When I push, I'm going to grab this knee. So push, knee, I can come up on this elbow, my left elbow, and then when this comes under, I kick across, okay? Sometimes, little variations, if this knee was up, for example, after I push, I can push on this knee. See how twisted his body is now? We'll come this direction just a little more. So when I come up and I push, his body's twisted, it's a great leg drag position, or I can come right to side control, now the whole thing, let's go back to butterfly, just so we can reconnect the pieces. Right away, I feel he's sweeping here, so this hand is on the knee. I go, boom, I fall, in, hook, push, grab, hook here. I can hold out of the collar, push across, and then I come up. next to each other like I initially showed when we're laying next to each other starting from that position you'll have a lot of success all right guys give me some feedback thumbs up comment below keep moving forward